wants veterans across the state to know they aren't alone. Santiago also wants veterans and their families to know about Chapter 115. It's a financial assistance program, and what we do is uh, we, we, we assist our veterans who are in need in helping them pay for ordinary, uh, ordinary everyday uh, things, to put food on the table, to assist them in paying, uh, paying rent, um, and also uh, assist them in paying for uh, medical expenses as well. Massachusetts is the only state in the country with a veterans benefits program like this. The law says every city and town must have a veteran services officer. If you're a veteran in any city and town and you need assistance, please reach out to your veteran services officer. But many veterans don't know about the program. Out of 17,000 veterans in Boston, only 350 are receiving help. Veterans don't have to worry about paying anything back. The program is paid for by the city or town. Because of the coronavirus pandemic, Santiago says some of the requirements are being waived. Veterans only need their military discharge and permanent residency papers to apply. Uh, they are in need of a, a financial assistance. Chapter 115 is here for it. Santiago says volunteers are also taking food to veterans, and by the end of the week, they hope to have their pen pal program up and running. We're working on a veterans buddy program to contact our veterans, uh, to talk to them, to check up on them to see what their needs are, to see how we could help them, and also just to, just to talk. Santiago says anyone can sign up to become a pen pal. We have that information on our website. And if you're a veteran interested in receiving financial help, we also have that information on our website, whdh.com. Reporting remotely, Sam Smink, 7 News Investigates. That is one of the most corrupt departments in the state of Massachusetts. <clears throat> I went to them many times. And I was actually receiving benefits. What they do is they do everything they can, everything, everything they can. And they are so corrupt. They are so corrupt. I can't even, I couldn't even get them into court. It's so corrupt because I had all the paperwork that they deny benefits that you're eligible for. They deny everything. The bit, the bit that you get from them is so small, Right. And the abuse and harassment that that department puts you through, it's so not worth it that you don't get it anymore. I stopped. I could have used the help. I stopped. I don't even bother dealing with They are the most disgusting people in the state, really. I equate them with priests who fuck little children. They are the worst of the fucking worst. They are scum. The Department of Veterans Services in Massachusetts are the biggest pieces of fucking shit you will ever fucking meet if you have the unfortunate bad luck to be so fucking broke as to need their help. Take my fucking word for it, brother. I've been there. I was in the town of Hingham. It's the worst fucking town in the state. Keith German and fucking Lisa Potts runs that fucking office, and they are fucking pieces of shit. They suck. Fucking motherfuckers. And I got no fucking problem saying it. And I saved every piece of fucking paper I have on them cocksuckers. Rat motherfuckers. Ugh. 17,000 in Boston. Just Boston alone, only 350. Of course, they deny you. Hey, they outright deny you, even though you're eligible. They, you have to fight them at a hearing. The hearing officer is a corrupt piece of shit. It's fucking, you can't even, the fucking, it's all government rat shit. It is. The whole department is to make the state look good like the helping veterans, but they don't. They fucking don't.